Hey there, this is part two of me and sexuality. Well, I also wanted to touch on that thing called fear. Well, not only just the fear of rejection, because I rolled with the fear of rejection. I looked at girls and the things they talked about in the ideal guy, and they always talked about he got a mon he got money and he got a car. So I didn't have money or a car, so I guess I'm out of luck there. Then on top of that, not only did I, not only did we the money and car thing, there was also the. Just it seemed women like guys that were, apparently good looking. They talked about how this guy was good looking, and. Since I wasn't good looking or didn't consider myself to be good looking. Oh well, you know I guess I'm just out of luck there too, so there was the fear of rejection. So I just decided to shut it down right there. Like okay. In order not to get rejected, I'm just going to not mess with them at all. I'm just going to be off to myself. So I kind of dealt with that in mind. I was doing this all through my teen years. In addition to that, I also feared things like pregnancy. What if a girl got pregnant or I got a girl pregnant? What would I then do? Well, I would have been a guy that would have stuck by the child. Because I was raised that way. I wasn't raised just to make a baby and then just leave it. And I don't see how a man can do that. Now, the men that are raising their children and doing the right things and sticking by the child, even though they're going through the hell of the baby's mother, more, more power to you. Applause, 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 applause. And we need more brothers out there like you. Now, with that being said, I also was afraid of like sexually transmitted diseases. You know, there's STDs floating around. Everybody's catching an STD. Everybody, you know, and that seems to be the statistics that was given to me in my sex ed instructor instructions. You know, and then you'd hear commercials about AIDS and your commercials about HIV and putting on a condom and, and, and all of this. So as a young person, I'm already scared. Like, uh-uh. Well, maybe, you know, Matthew 5, 27, 28 is right. So... I was like, look, I don't want no babies before I'm ready. I don't want no diseases. And I surely don't want no BS from these females. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to stay to myself. I'm not even going to try to do things. So when a woman did show interest in me, the few, very few times that she did, I, I purposely would sabotage it in some way. Not the best thing, but hey, a lot of forces were pulling at me then. I would find a way to sabotage it. I'd find a way to sabotage it because maybe she'll reject. Maybe she won't reject me today, but the more she knows me, she'll reject me tomorrow or the day after or whatever the case might be. So I just felt like nobody, you know, like if a woman does like me, either something's wrong with her or she's tricking me or she'll, she'll leave me soon and then I'll be back in the same predicament. So I was just feeling that a whole lot. And then what didn't help were guys around my age were talking big, big trash about how many women they done been to bed with, how many girls they done had and laid up with and all the type of sexual things they've done. And so I felt inadequate because of this, because of this man's alleged prowess. And of course, there's no way I'm going to know about his prowess. And I'm sure on the flip side, that female is probably saying he was lousy or wasn't all that. But in his mind... He was just the man. And of course, I had to hear dudes run their mouth about how virile and how their sexual prowess was just all that. And I felt inadequate because I was a virgin. I had not had any experiences. So, and I didn't have a girlfriend until I was 17, just shy of the age of 18. And I felt more comfortable hanging with my homies, you know, doing nerdy sci-fi stuff than trying to holler at some female because it seemed women just brought this 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 chaotic dynamic to the table it just seemed women were chaos and disorder personified in some way dudes was either trying to win them over fight over them or trying to get with them all the time or trying to be wow try to wow them and impress them to get them to deal with them and i just didn't see the appeal i'm like yeah i like her but she ain't worth all that drama that this dude is going through. But in a way, I felt inadequate. I felt like I was just an inadequate as a human being, as a guy, as all of that. Because, you know, 
And then it didn't help that I came up in the 90s and the 90s had a lot of that feminism coming up, you know, strong feminism in the 90s. And the one thing I noticed was women would always talk about how men are dogs and all men want is sex. But then that same woman would then try to put me on blast because she assumed I was a virgin. Because she never said, but that same woman would be com complained, all men are dogs, men are dogs. So to prove I was not a dog, hey, I, I'm not up here laying with nobody. I'm not a dog. I'm not like that guy over there. But I wasn't the one you picked anyway. You picked that guy over there. So I found that I found that conundrum very well confusing and just laughable. And it made me see that women could be just as shallow, superficial, materialistic, and sex crazed as men are accused of being. So to me, like I said, I I I was just I was just a big old ball of confusion. So when I was 17 and got with my high school sweetheart at the time, it was cool. I mean, it was cool. I was still awkward. I mean, I hadn't even kissed anybody. You know, that's how fucked up it was. Excuse my language. That's how messed up it was. Like, I hadn't even kissed anybody. I was just, you know, this was all a new thing. It was new holding someone's hand or, or whatever the case might be in a romantic sense. So... It was weird going from being this platonic, non-threatening male friend to actually being someone's boyfriend. And that was weird. And even and I had to deal with all the all the wackiness of being in a relationship. And it was just interesting. Um, heck, even the first time I actually had sexual intercourse, that was awkward as all get out. It was just, you know, and, and, and I kind of regret that I didn't wait until I got married. I, I wish that I had just been one of those guys that waited till they got married, but it seems everybody's laying up with everybody these days, and a lot of people aren't protecting themselves, and we have a lot of more children that are out of wedlock, and I never really got that either, but for me, I just felt like, I just felt like when when God was giving out, I guess, libido and, and just giving out consciences to to go out and have sex i guess i just didn't get one i just felt like i was weird i was an alien from another planet just everything was wrong with me um so i did kind of tell a story this actually might be a little more than just two parts because this is really kind of getting interesting and i'm exploring some things within myself and reopening some memory so pardon me if i lose a little bit on you well take care for now i'm gonna hit you up with the the next part Deuces.